Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 931. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 931 to 932, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to do two lookups that look up items that have special characters such as asterisks, tilde, or over here uh, we'll see question mark and a tilde after, right? Though these special characters cause troubles for lookup functions, and so we'll see how to deal with that. Let's just run a straight VLOOKUP and run into trouble, and we see if we can fall, fix it. Now VLOOKUP, I, I want to tell VLOOKUP, look up asterisk SAM, comma, within this table right here. VLOOKUP will look in the first column and try and find asterisk SAM, comma. We want to tell VLOOKUP, take the item from the second column and bring it back to the cell. So I'm typing a 2 for second column. And then I want exact match. So instead of false, I'm putting a 0. It means exactly look up asterisk SAM. Right? So it's finding this one. The wild cards just don't work with lookup. If I go to fre tilde Fred, tilde Fred, oh, it's getting Fred. So the trick is we have to tell this lookup value to actually look for these special characters. Now, the solution is strange because we use a tilde to tell the lookup function to treat the lookup value and actually look for those characters in the first column. So we have to join a tilde, and the tilde has to be in double quotes. Tilde is like to the left of the number one key. And you have to join it using sh the ampersand or the join symbol, Shift 7. That right there, all it says by joining this to the lookup value, it says now you actually have to look for those special characters. And so now it will work. Sam, it finds 657. Fred, uh, Tilde Fred, it finds 458. Fred, it finds 258. Now, these are only text values, and we only had special characters to the left. In our next example, we have text values and numbers, which causes an extra problem. And we have sometimes tilde before the text items and tilde after. All right, so let's, instead of using VLOOKUP, I want to use MATCH. MATCH is a lookup function that looks up the relative position. So N tilde which should be return 9 because it's the ninth value in this list. N should be given us 2 because it's the second item in the list. So equals MATCH. I'm going to say, hey, MATCH, look up that comma within this lookup array, and I'm going to lock this with the F4 case because I'm going to copy this down. That's the lookup array, and comma match type exact, so it put 0. And what is it doing? It's finding 2. It can't see that special character. Well, again, the solution is the tilde. Now, notice we have uh, special characters after sometimes or before, so we're going to have to amend this one before. So I'm joining it before, and I'm joining it after. OK, and so now it will work. That's the fifth position. That's the eighth position, right? All right, so now the problem is if we choose a number. So if you go to match help, it tells you that you use this to tell lookup functions to actually look for those special characters. But it also says you have to have text items as lookup items. And it's not going to work on the number items. So what that means is we really want this in our lookup value when that's a text item or not a number. And when that is a number, I want just C2 here. All right, I'm going to click Escape to get it back, all right? And so what I really want is I'm going to actually put an if right there inside the, uh, actually, let me do this. Let me copy it down, and I'll amend it here. I'll leave that one up there, because that'll work if it's only text items. This solution is if you have numbers or text items. All right, so you ready? Inside that lookup value, argument, we're going to put an if. It's going to deliver one of two lookup values, if, and then I'm going to say is number. Is that a number? That gives us true or false, and that's exactly what we want the it logical test if function wants. If it's true, the value of true, that right there, because remember, that's the number, right? We're dumping something into the uh, lookup 
item for match. Otherwise, if it's not true, it's false, comma, that thing right there. Now watch this. Screen tips will be your will help you. I'm going to close this off and watch what happens. The screen tip goes back to match. It says, oh yeah, that's the lookup value. So that whole little thing right there is actually lookup value. Control enter. And so now we have a formula that will work. You could also do it this way, if is number and then run a match once or twice, right? So and probably half of us would do it that way and half of us would do it this way. But now we have our formula that'll work. It's finding the wildcards whether they're after or before and whether or not they're numbers or text items. All right, uh, we'll see you next video.